Hey everybody, it's Jerry at the Fledge. Welcome to another episode of Every Damn Day. Today I have with us our good friend Alex. How you Hi. doing today, Alex? Good. Yes, yes. Um, you ever been on a on a podcast or a video cast like this? No. No. I've never. Um, is it something you thought you would be doing today, or are we uh, uh, surprising you? You're surprising me. <laughs> well, are you happy to be on? Yeah, I'm happy. We're super happy to have you too. So, uh, you've you've got a company. You've you uh, what's it called? Fashion for Queens. And uh, how long have you been doing this? I think it's since uh, since the whole pandemic happened. I was in school, and I've been doing this. Yeah, we were uh, we started getting ready for the youth entrepreneurial showcase that yeah. Leap holds, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sad that they didn't get us? We didn't get to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, before we jump into your company, tell us, tell tell me something about you. Tell us something about you. Um, I like doing this, and it's really fun for me to make these kind of dresses. And yeah. Did you uh, always want to do this? Yeah, I always wanted to do this. Does, would you rather uh, uh, make dresses or play video games? Make dresses. <laughs> um, so tell us what your vision is. Like what's Fashion for Queens look like in five or ten years? It would look like um, some dresses that would be like beautiful for queens and like everybody out there. And like when I say queens, like queens, like four queens like everything like that but yeah yeah um you've got a dress next to you there i'm going to uh put another view of it on the screen and maybe we can see it a little different um tell us about what you made there this is uh our dress it's called um i forgot um let me see it says here it's called Turquoise Dream. Yeah, Turquoise Dream, and I made it. It has, like, a little flower, but, like, it's pretty. And it has, like, a box shape on the bottom of the legs. Like, they're, like, showing. And, like, let me show you the back. All right. It has this right here. This thing. Uh, that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, uh, have you ever sold a dress before? No, I just made a dress. Have you, uh, is that sewn yet or do you still have a lot of work to do? I still have a lot of work to do. Do you, uh, um, what do I, do you have a sewing machine and all of that? I have a sewing machine and I use it when I'm trying to sew something. Okay. Did, hey, did you ever sell that bag? Not yet. I'm going to call Janice out in this. I'll tag her in this uh, when we play it. She called me the other day and said, is that bag still available? It is. So, yeah, she would like to buy that still. So okay. I should take care of that or help you take care of it. Mm -hmm. um, what are some things that you need for your company? I need more equipment. I need fabric. I need needles, dresses, and I need a top half. You can see right here, it's just the lower half. But I don't have a top half. So, so you can't make any fluffy shirts or poofy shirts, huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, what What's something that you do every damn day to try to make Fashion for Queens come to reality? I draw and I imagine in my head how it's going to go and like how I'm drawing it and like I draw it on my free time so I can like get it all imagined and like I figure out what fabric I'm using, like what color, like the designs that go on it. So where do, where's the farthest place away where someone's going to be wearing your dress someday? I think, uh, I think Texas. Texas? Yeah. And 
Um, how many people you think will wear your dresses someday? Like a thousand. And maybe more? Yeah, maybe more. Um, how many uh, How many employees do you think you'll have? I'll have like five or ten. Five or ten employees? Yeah. Will you have a big like factory to make these? Yeah, and then I'll have a store to sell them in. That's nice. Is your store going to be in Texas or no, are you going to stay? It'll stay? I'll stay here, but I'll go global, like around the world. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you think you'll have uh, your dresses in Paris and Dubai yeah. and all those places? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you, uh, which, who's your like ideal customer? Like who wants to buy one of your dresses? Mm. Family, friends, uh, people like I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. How do you uh, How do you tell people about it? I would go on websites and like uh, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and like on TV, like commercials. But like, we are working on a website called. Queens and Queens. It's not up yet, but like we're working on it. Okay. So when I, uh, uh, when you get that done, I can put that in the comments below and people can follow it to order a dress or a bag or something from you. All right. And do you have a Facebook and Instagram right now? No. Yeah. So, hey, do you mind telling us your age? I am 12 and I'm in the sixth grade. We've never uh, asked somebody their age on the show before, but you're definitely the youngest uh, entrepreneur we've had so far. Mm -hmm. So do you hope that uh, Leap or someone does a youth entrepreneurial showcase? Yeah, I hope they do. You're you're ready to show them that you're a future entrepreneur? Yeah. If, uh, If you could say, well, you can say, is there anything that you want to say to everyone um, before we finish up the interview? Um, Please help me. Please buy these dresses. And yeah. Uh, You're amazing. I really like what you're doing. Uh, I I guess the other thing besides, you also won uh, 99 Problems, but a pitch ain't won. Yeah, I did. Uh, How much money did you win? Uh, $99. And it's, I think somebody gave you thread and somebody gave you a sewing machine. Yeah, I got donated a sewing machine and thread. That's awesome. Um, if you could win $2,000, you're going to pitch at the hatching sometime? Yeah, I would. You would? Mm-hmm. All right, then uh, maybe we need to start preparing for that. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. Look out to all the other entrepreneurs. Thanks for being on the show with us, Alex. Uh, Remember that uh, Fridays and Sundays, we have uh, 99 problems, but a pitch ain't one. And then every damn day at 2 p.m., every damn day shows. So anything you want to say to everyone to tell them goodbye? Goodbye. Have a great day and be safe. Thank you so much, Alex. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.